So I'm sitting here eating breakfast. I just got finished working out and I was meditating on a passage in the Bible. And I'm realizing it's one of the very first creative acts of mankind. It's I think it's about maybe the third creative act, technically. At first, I thought it was the first creative act, but then I realized, no, it's, it's, it's probably the third creative act. And what I'm talking about is Genesis chapter 3, verse 7. I'm in the NKJV. And it says, Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves coverings. Now, that is one of the first creative acts of mankind, if you're Jewish or Christian. That's one of the very first acts, right? Very first creative acts, right? And I say it's the third because really the first creative act for a man or for mankind is uh, it is Genesis chapter two, verse 20. So he is um, giving the names to all the cattle, to the birds of the air and to every beast of the field. So that was technically that's the first creative act, right? Naming things, identification. That is the first creative act. Um, and. I say it's the I say the original passage, chapter three, verse seven, is the third because I think the second one is when um, Adam identifies uh, Eve as the helper. But you can also say that it's the second one. I don't know. Either way, Genesis chapter three, verse seven is at least one of the very first creative acts of mankind. But here's the interesting thing. This here's the whole point of this video. Long introduction. The point of this video is that one of the very first creative acts of mankind is destructive. It's destructive. They literally destroyed God's work, the fig trees, and they use it to cover themselves. Also, number two, it is the cre it is that the creative act stems from sin. It stems from sin, right? So what I really meant to say in the beginning, like when before I made a video and I had to re-edit it, what I meant to say is this is the first instance of the manipulation of earthly materials, right? It's not the first creative act, but it is the first instance of the manipulation of the materials around Adam and Eve and using them for something else. It's the first act of that. That's what I meant when I said that it's the first creative act. It's the first act, instance of manipulation and recombination. And it's a destructive act. It's a, And it's an act out of sin and out of covenant, right? Which get, led me thinking that a lot of creativity, you know, creativity really is just destruction. It really is just looking at something, seeing the parts of it, taking some of the parts or most of the parts or even none of them and getting inspired by those things, taking the idea of something and then just repurposing it for something else. And this is what it's about. This is what this passage is about. This is creativity. But then another lesson that ar arose from this passage is the fact that this is a coping mechanism. This is something to deal with something. This isn't it's like doing drugs. Are you using earthly materials to cover up what divinity would gladly cover up? Are you pulling herbs from the grass and smoking them? Are you letting grapes sit for too long and guzzling them down in order to cover up all those weird thoughts, those anger, lust, greed, envy, all those thoughts, all of those shameful things, all of those guilts, all of those anxieties? Are you using those things, are you using the earthly things to cover up what God would have gladly covered, what, what he will gladly cover? You know, that this is a passage about um, understanding what you are and coping with that fact. Because now we live in that knowledge. We need to be covered up. We need to be covered up by the fact that we are human. You know, that we have all these things going on inside of our minds. And a lot of us are dealing with addictions because we addict to things that help us cover up, that help us ignore these facts, right? But we're also, we're destroying things. We're destroying one ourselves because we destroy our connection with God but we also destroy other things in order to maintain this um, illusion, this numbingness, this uh, ignorance. Ignorance is bliss. So that's all I wanted to say about this passage, um, that it's one of the very first creative acts. It's at least the very first creative act which utilizes the manipulation of earthen materials, and it's a destructive one. And it's one that that tells us that sometimes we... sometimes creativity a lot of the times most of the times creativity involves destruction so i hope you got something out of that this was a long rambling i'm kind of out of it uh i apologize if it kind of stumbled about or took too long to get to the point but i hope you all have a blessed day and i hope you continue meditating on the word thank you